Each year, USPHL All-Star Monday showcases the best of the best in the NCDC 18U and 16U divisions. And every year, a player is chosen to represent a behind-the-scenes on what life is like for an All-Star. This year is Reed Miller of the Connecticut Junior Rangers. Hey guys, it's Reed Miller. I play for the Connecticut Junior Rangers, NCDC. Welcome to my All-Star Game. The All-Star Game is a huge opportunity for players to showcase their talent and abilities to coaches and scouts from across the country. But hockey players are a superstitious bunch, and many choose to start the game like they start every other game. So the first thing I usually do coming into a game is get my coffee. It's usually a caramel macchiato. Uh, the next thing is I go in my stall, hang out with the guys, listen to some tunes, get ready, tape a couple sticks. Next, players head to the locker room and meet their teammates, some of whom they'll be playing with for the first time. What's your name? Ian. Ian. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Frankie. Frankie and Ian. Okay. Alright, I got you right here. Uh, so we made it to the locker room. We're in a pretty good spot. We got Ian on the Bruins. Frankie also at the Bruins. Uh, I got Jim Lee next to me. Tate Brandon's in here. Everett Wardle. A bunch of your guys in the locker room. So this is kind of where I finish my coffee, cool down a little bit, and get ready to suit up. For a time, this game feels like any other. Find your locker room, unpack your bag, and start getting set up. For this game, the league provides new jerseys for each player, as well as pre-game snacks and meals that have become ubiquitous throughout the game of hockey. Players group up and start getting loosened up with games of sewer or individual stretches. So, I got a sew right. Um, this kind of helps loosen up my hips, my lower back, and my groin. Um, it helps get my legs moving, my hips moving. Uh, as a defenseman, you gotta have your hips loose, transition into guys, open up your hips, things like that. Um, usually once I'm done rolling these out, I'll get into some stretches, get the blood going a little bit. Everyone's attention now turned to ice level, where the 2020 NCDC All-Star Game was about to begin. Spin this one back up top. Trying to find their way out there, Will. That's Colton Friesen, Mr. Friesen, who's going to take him to the Ice Age here. Wide side with a quick shot, stoned by Abrick. Gavin Abrick, that's his eighth stop on eighth tries. First season so far, and a well-deserved all-star nod for him as there's a turnover in front for the one-timer shot, score! Now it's Buzavari along with Blanc. While the 2020 All-Star Game was another top-notch USPHL event, our attention turns to a top-notch player in Reed Miller and a little bit of his life as a hockey player. So I grew up in a small town in Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, my dad played hockey um, out in uh, Pennsylvania growing up. Uh, his family grew up on the pond and my brother got into hockey and uh, it started when I was five. Uh, the dad would strap me up in the goalie pads and carry me out in the garage and throw me in the net and let my brother rip pucks at me and that's kind of how I fell in love with the game and ever since then hockey's been my life so it was different for sure like we were always going in games as the underdogs and no one expected to hear any noise from the junior coyotes or teams from Arizona but now the game has grown so much and hockey's evolved in so many different ways that Arizona is now on the map for hockey. There's a lot of good talent. So Arizona is, is on the map now. So we're not, we're not the underdogs anymore. Started out in a couple different places. Uh, then I ended up with Jim and CJR and he's been the best, best coach I've played for. Uh, he's done everything in his power to help me get to where I am now. He's a player's coach. Whatever you need, he'll, he'll respond and give whatever you need to do. For him, for the team, he's, he's the hardest working coach I've ever played for. 
Um, he's put his players first, and I, I couldn't be more grateful for where I am. I was sitting at home on the computer with uh, Tate Brandon and a couple other guys watching the All-Star game and saw our names called, and it was exciting. I mean, it's, it's a huge step. We're at Merrimack College in front of a bunch of scouts, playing with the best guys in the league, some going to Division I schools next year, others going to top three Division three schools. I mean, it's, it's a great opportunity, and I couldn't be more excited. My goal is obviously, as a lot of hockey players, is Division I. That's the main goal, and I just want to find a home where I can find another Jim Hankel out there who's going to support me for four years, and I'm going to have fun with my education and hockey and fall in love with the game even more. So it's just that next step that's even more exciting. Hockey is, it gives you the ability to do so many things. Like it, it builds you as a person off the ice, on the ice. You have to have fun. Like once hockey turns into a job, it's, it's a job. Like you have to have fun with the game. If you love the game, the game's gonna love you back. No matter how many times you're put down, just keep, keep fighting. If you love the game, the game will love you back, so.